When Tiasia Woodson reminisces on some of her favorite memories from elementary school. I almost remember my librarian from, from elementary school, Ms. Wilder. There were always books to choose from. The Richmond City Public School graduate says going to the book fair and getting a new book was something she looked forward to every year. Clifford. What was it, the big red dog yeah. or something like that? Yeah. I did like Julie B. Jones. I read a lot of her books. But Woodson says if you ask six-year-old Tiasia if she ever thought she'd write her own children's book. So I actually never had a thought of writing a book. The answer would have been no. So if younger Tiasia knew that she was going to be an author, she would be surprised. But she would also be appreciative of the opportunity to spread her words throughout the community. Titled 31 Affirmations, Woodson released the children's book last March after a conversation with a college professor. And specifically for grade school children or elementary school kids, shall I say, just to speak positivity within themselves. Woodson says representation was important to her when writing this book. Each page illustrated with a diverse group of children. Um, he's in a wheelchair and this is just showing the diversity that we have in my book. The book filled with enough affirmations to repeat one every day of the month. So affirmation 23 says, I choose love. Mm -hmm. And affirmation 24 says, I choose happiness. The month can go up to 31 days. So it gives them the opportunity to read an affirmation a day. Um, even, you know, 30 month, thirty day month, 31 days month. Um. Mantras of reading, fifth grade reading teacher Ridgely Carter Mentor felt will be great for her students. So a lot of times when we have students that say, um, I can't read or I don't like reading because it's hard or things like that. This is a book that you can use as a resource to um, just pour back into the child and just help them feel better about themselves. She purchased the book of affirmations last year and has used it in multiple lessons since. Uh, a book can change a child's life. Mm -hmm. So that's um, ultimately why you will want to do whatever you can to just make a difference in a child's life. She and Woodson say the power in the child being able to choose and take home a book they like is unmatched. Your bucket is empty. Those kind of fill your bucket back um, because you know that the gift of reading is something you, know, you can't take from a kid. Hearing a song a thousand times, we learn the words. It's going to give them the opportunity to know that, no, this is not just a book. This is what life is. Now, Woodson says there may be another children's book on the way, possibly about a little girl, as she's expecting a little girl sometime early next year. So to get more books in the hands of these kids, you can donate by visiting our website at WTVR.com slash give a book, or you can text WTVR to 50155.